Hi, I'm Ollie. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the top must-have apps for the iPad Mini. I'm always getting asked what apps shall I install when I get a new device, so I've put together a top, I think it's 15 or 16 free apps that are available from the App Store today. So I should start by going through them. Firstly, we've got Dropbox. I use Dropbox all the time. It's awesome for storing pictures and so on. Uh, on the iPad Mini you get the, uh, the full tablet version, so you can see thumbnails of your pictures here. Um, once it's caught up if you can click through so you can easily go through and uh, and look at all your uh, your various photos that you've uploaded you can automatically upload them so uh, I find that a really useful one next one is Wikipanion so this is pretty much Wikipedia but on a nice version that you can access throughout your tablet so you've got this side screen here where search for Apple so you can see all the information about Apple and then down the side you've got all the variations like going through so uh, if we want to search for something you just pop it in there it's nice and easy works a lot better than the actual website itself on the uh, on a tablet and we've got imdb which gives you rankings of movies so if there's a movie that you're uh, you're interested in you can uh, you can look it up so if we uh, if we go onto this one here and gi joe so you can go in you can see pictures of all the cast you can see rankings release dates and various facts and information about that which is really good. Obviously, you've got the cast down here, so you can tick on that. Go into more detail, say, for about Bruce Willis. So, really useful app to have. Uh, next one we've got is Apple Remote. I haven't actually linked this up with anything yet, so there's not much to show you in there. Um, but once you've connected that to uh, your iTunes library, you can pretty much control everything on there. So, that's an awesome one to have. If you're into eBay, um, searching or selling, um, this is a really good app. You've got uh, your search bar at the top, gives you full that gives you full details of everything um, you can browse by popular categories you can go into my ebay keep control of your listings and so on so again another really useful one the youtube app uh, a must for me um, doesn't come as standard so i've included it in here you can search at the top you can view nearby you can view featured most viewed trending and so on in there next one we've got is google earth pretty cool uh, cool app to have so you can view all around the world um, for instance this is obviously the globe if I click here which will bring me to my location should do there you go should just take a second and it'll slowly work its way in so that's uh, a pretty cool one to have you can see traffic overview things like that another movie related one is Flixster so if you go in, you can see what's opening in the cinemas. You can view what's been released on DVD. So if we go to DVD, you can see what's been released this week, last week. So if you're looking for a film to watch, it's ideal. Also supports cinemas, so you can see what's on at your local cinema. If you pick this here, you can see information about it, critics, reviews, user opinion. So that's uh, an awesome one. You can also watch trailers on there. Next one we've got is Acute Weather. So it's basically just uh, an enhanced version of, uh, of the standard weather system you get included on the iPad Mini. Let's wait for that to load up a second. So as you can see there, it's got the temperature. You can uh, flick through at the top, I believe, if we go to forecast. There you go. So you can move through and see what it's going to be for, uh, I think it's about seven days. So that's uh, a really useful app. You do get a little bit of advertising at the top, but nothing that's uh, too much of a problem. So there's a lot of information in there. Next one we've got is, uh, is BBC News. It's not probably going to be available worldwide, but it's one I use quite regularly. So uh, you can go in and uh, you can see down here, if you're connected to, uh, to Wi-Fi, you get videos in certain ones. So again, if you're keeping up for the news, it's a really useful one. Next one we've got here is TV Guide. It picks your location, so it automatically syncs up with channels that are available for you. Do get the occasional advertisement like that, but nothing that's too much of a problem. So you've got all your channels down here. You can view through if you pick say X Factor here, gives you some more information at the top, user ratings and so on. Next one we've got is Photoshop Express. So uh, literally a, a simple way. So if we go in and uh, and just pick a photo, so pick one took it earlier here. So it's quite a, a dark photo. So if you go into here, you can do brightness and contrast. So uh, you can literally scroll that way to change the brightness. So brighten it up and then you've got your contrast. So uh, really easy to use. Once you're happy with it, tick there and uh, you can pick some other effect. So uh, if we pick colorize, for example, you can, uh, you can do that. Just cancel that. So there's a lot of features in here. Just as much if you just want to uh, crop something, 
you can uh, choose what you want to do so if you just want to pick a part of the photo then you can save that as a separate image so really useful if you use your uh, iPad for taking quite a few pictures next one we've got Shazam basically if you've got a song playing you don't know what it's called you just turn this on activate it and it will listen to the song for about 10 seconds and tell you exactly what it is so that you view YouTube clips on it buy it through various sources so uh, this is a really awesome app if you uh, if you listen to a song on the radio you don't know what it is another radio related app tuning radio so here you can get all your local radio stations it's just a case of clicking on it gives you details of the DJ and the song that's on uh, which is again really useful works worldwide for uh, various radio stations and another one that's it's called find my iPhone but it allows you to find pretty much any Apple device even desktop Macs um, so the uh, the idea is is uh, if you do lose your uh, iPhone, iPad or so on you can easily uh, locate it with this, you can add multiple devices so that's quite uh, quite cool and finally catch up TV or TV catch up go on here and you can uh, view live streaming TV so you, it loads up and you've got a list of all the channels you can pick what you want, tells you what's on at the time tap on it and it loads it up on the right hand side you can view it full screen, it also I believe it supports air share so you can watch it on your big screen TV so uh, other than uh, like Facebook and Twitter, which I haven't included because it's down to your personal preference whether you use them, those are some apps I recommend that you install or worth having a look at. Uh, also instant messaging, IM Plus is really good but I haven't included that because there's so many different variations like Windows Live and Yahoo and so on. I'd, I'd be here all day going over those. Hopefully that's helped you anyway. So uh, if that video has helped, if you can like it on YouTube, it would be much appreciated. If you... Uh, if you subscribe to my channel, I'll keep you updated on any more uh, iPad mini videos I do. And uh, thanks a lot for watching.